This is my latest purchase. It's a uh, Epson QX10 from uh, the early 1980s. Uh, it has um, uh, two five and a quarter floppy drives, 256K of RAM, which was quite a bit for back then, and a Z80 processor. Um, I owned one of these back in the mid to late 80s and early 90s and then uh, basically uh, threw it away and uh, then I was able to uh, recently purchase one on eBay and I still had my discs in my my book I got a couple other books too and uh, um, it came with a modem card and I haven't tried that yet. I'm not even sure if I got any software to run it or what I'd even hook to it because it, it kind of takes a landline for phone. <clears throat> but uh, I the floppy drives were all bound up. I pulled them out and uh, cleaned the heads uh, and cleaned some levers with uh, alcohol and then put a little bit of uh, light grease on that I had and I've got them working again. Um, I'll boot up uh, uh, what's called uh, early uh, learners toolkit um, system that was uh, I managed to image on some discs and I hadn't actually seen this before until today so I'll start the computer up. And I've got a disk in each drive. <clears throat> Boots up with a TPM3 operating system, which is a, a kind of a derivative of a CPM. Um, then you see the 256K memory. 1986 Rising Star Industries RSI. Uh, Roger Amadon uh, founded that company and actually, uh, I think he might have built this thing. And I know he had the, like technical design labs. But uh, now it's accessing the uh, right hand drive. To pull up a menu of uh, activities. This is kind of a of a system for preschoolers, and it gives a menu of choices. And uh, um, you can use arrow keys and so forth to move around. I think. Here's one that will play, uh, help you learn musical notes. Uh, you can kind of play a scale. And this takes a <clears throat> what's called the Haskey system, H-A-S-C-I, I can't remember what it stands for, but basically it was a set of um, uh, control keys for uh, the uh, Valdox word processor system that, and uh, um, if you press stop, you, you go back to the menu. I was surprised how well these uh, floppy drives still work. The inside of this was very clean and uh, cosmetically this thing looks great. Uh, there's a battery inter in there, internal battery to hold the time and it's got some voltage on it. It may have been replaced at one time. It's, it's not leaking but uh, yeah this brings back a lot of memories took me a while to remember 
um, how to use this and uh, um, it's a nice addition to uh, my uh, collection mostly of uh, CPM type computers and uh, um, I'll see if I can come up with any more uh, expansion type cards they pop up once in a while on eBay of course they want way too much money for them and actually I paid a little bit too much for this but I had some extra money come along so I uh, pulled the trigger and, and decided to buy this one and now I'm glad I did. Alright, thank you.